Hello everyone, this is Victor. Uh, today I'm going to be walking you through how to enter and maintain standards in PowerSchool Admin. Um, what you're going to need to do is make sure that you have the power to do this and that you're sitting in the district office um, for your school. You can't be in an actual school. You need to manage those standards within the district office. Um, so how I'm going to walk you through this is showing you both the template of how to import standards, how you're actually going to do that, and what that then looks like in PowerSchool. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you log into PowerSchool is make sure you're in the district office for the correct year. And then once you have made sure that that is correct, you're going to go ahead and click on the district setup. When you're in the district setup, you'll have access to the standards for the entire district. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, there are two things you're going to be able to do once you have access to those standards. The first is display all standards, uh, which I'm going to go ahead and do now. And the other is that we can do a custom list of standards. Now that custom list is based on a search criteria that we enter. So I could go in and this search is searching for everything that is English. Um, and so it's pulling from every grade and every school to show me those standards. When that list generates, and it will take a little while depending on how many standards you have, you're going to be able to view all of the standards in the hierarchy that currently exists. Now, that being said, it's a little bit convoluted to make sure that you can get in and you can manage all of these standards. Now, if I went in and I clicked on one of these standards like English EAP, for example, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to let me change the name of that. It is also going to allow me to edit the identifier, the subject area, the parent, so what it will nest underneath, the type of standard that it is, and everything should be listed as a school standard uh, just so that you can give teachers access to it. Where it's going to display in the sort order, what level it is, as in how deep it is within the standard system, and course numbers. Now, course numbers will matter if you are assigning them to teachers' gradebooks. So this is all of the information that you're going to code in essentially by hand for every standard that you enter or change within PowerSchool. Now, the one thing you really need to know is that this identifier has to be unique. Uh, that's one of the required pieces of adding standards to PowerSchool. So what you're going to do is you're going to create a spreadsheet, and that spreadsheet can be like this. Um, basically, it is a set of identifying characteristics for each standard and what you're going to do is you're going to select and enter all of this information. So you need the identifier, you need to tell the system whether or not teachers can actually allow assignments or not, you need to import the level that that standard is going to nest under, you're going to also identify the parent, so what parent will that be underneath. You're going to give that standard a name, a sort order, a subject, a type, which will always be four, and a description. Now that description is going to come from just the text of the standards that you're given. Then the last thing you're going to do is add courses. So as you can see from this import, we actually did not add any of these to courses. This was just an upload of all of the standards that had been requested. Uh, if we switch tabs though, you're going to be able to see some additional information that was added to courses um, as we moved and progressed throughout the year. Now that's kind of how you're going to set it up. Within PowerSchool itself, how you're going to import that once you have that is you're going to save it as a text file that you can import. So make sure you're editing it in a system that will allow you to save as a text file. Um, I prefer comma separated text or CSV. Uh, you can import tab delimited text if you would like. Um, I just find that using the comma separated values is easier for me to import. Um, the only caveat to that is you have to make sure that all of the language for your descriptions, if I go back to here, it does not have a comma in it. Otherwise, it's going to mess up some of your importing. Um, you also need to make sure that any hidden carriage returns are removed from within that data. So if you look at this one, uh, there are carriage returns that are actually making each line show up on a different line, whether that's A, B, C, D, E, and F. Um, what you're going to need to do is trim that up and make sure that all of those carriage returns 
are removed when you import that. So once you have your Excel document set up, you're going to go ahead and go back into PowerSchool. You're going to return to the home screen. And once you're there, you're going to go ahead and click on Special Functions. Now that special function is going to give you an import and export identifier. What you're going to do is go ahead and click quick export and you're going to import your data into the standards table. What you're going to do is you can do tab or you can do other CSV if you want to. Um, the end of line marker is, go is why you're going to need to remove those hidden carriage returns. Um, and then you're going to browse for a file to import. Now, once you've selected your file, this suggested field map will let you actually identify uh, which column in your data set is going to align with the field in PowerSchool. So make sure that you have those uh, named so that you can find them. And then when you hit import, it's going to ask you if you want to update all standards with those identifiers. Um, that is up to you. If you choose to update, it's going to actually recalculate every standard for every student in the school. So that takes some time and some power school bandwidth. Uh, so just keep that in mind. If you have any questions about how you're going to maintain, edit, or import new standards, uh, please go ahead and just shoot me an email or reach out in any of the other methods. Um, thanks for tuning in.